hello everyone welcome to the second part of our tutorial where i will explain and show how to connect applied motion products ethernet ip devices inside the codices now let's create a project inside codices so click on new project select standard project select the ladder logic diagram for this project and i will use the codices soft plc the first thing we will do is we will install the EDS file. So go to the tools and select the device and install the EDS file that you have downloaded from AMP website. Then we will add a AMP drive in our device tree. So right click on device, select the Ethernet IP adapter and then click on the ethernet adapter and it will give you an option to add an ethernet ip scanner click on the scanner and then you will get an option to add an amp device open the amp device and then add an ip address in my case I have 10 10 10 10 and unselect the compatibility match then right click on device and then we will get an option to turn on the gateway so we will select and uh, start the PLC from the taskbar so now my soft PLC is running make sure gateway is running also so scan the network and I get an option to select the my computer enter the username and password if you have already selected or you will get an option to create a new one so gateway is running now click on ethernet adapter and select the computer ethernet adapter so in my case I select the Ethernet adapter. Now let's define variable into the Ethernet IO mapping. So we have 14 dints of input and 16 dints of output. So we need to create a variable and map into. So I'm creating a read variable array of 14 dint and write array of 16 dint so read is our input from a device and write our output to the device so map those all the dints inside the IO mapping now go to the library manager and install the AMP library that you have received from AMP website application packet select the LD library for the ladder logic and install it once you install it add a library into the project so click on add library and select the AMP Ethernet IP LD as you can see we have all the function blocks imported into our project now open the main program and we will insert a box and we will select the one of the function blocks in my case I'm selecting AMP status code and I will assign the input of the drive so read is the my input from the drive now let's download the project so build a project first if there is no errors let's download the project go to the online and then click on login then run the PLC so go to the debug and start so our plc is running as you can see 
that we can read the status from our device. That's it. That is for the second part.